soon as you open the front door. To greet it into this little foyer. Have a light fixture. And off to the left here, it looks like we have a little formal dining room. Very nice. Very nice. As we pan over here to the right. See, this is the front door that we just came in and dining room. But if you pan over to the right, it looks like there's access there to the first um, two car garage. As you see here, nice size for all your vehicles. It smells good. And we pan around back to the interior. We have this looks to be a little patio area with a slide door. And to the right here, looks like there's a half bath. With a toilet and sink. And here it looks like we have Look like some extra storage here, I would assume. Storage, but this here looks like it was converted into looks to be like be an office type, looks like an arts and craft type of room here. Very nice. As we continue on to the rest of the home here. Here we have the living room, looks like these big windows let in a lot of natural light. like some some built-ins right here that's probably an option if you're able to do the built-in cabinets there with the window big bench, bench seating with the storage underneath very nice very nice as we move on into the kitchen this looks like a little eating kitchen area Nice chandelier with more big bay wind, more big windows. Looks like reflecting a lot of light, natural lighting. Good for your videos. And as we take a walk around into the kitchen area, looks like there's an island here with bar stools, um, lots of counter space. These drawers, these dovetails, and uh, drawers. Oops. Soft closed drawers, you see that? Show you again. Very nice. You got your cabinetry here. Very nice. Looks like we have your wall oven, double oven. Very nice, very nice. And off here, but we have a pantry or but butler's pantry. That looks like to be. Mm -hmm. Lots of space. The storage. It looks possibilities. Very nice. <clears throat> As I mentioned before, this house is 3,700 square feet. So a lot of room to grow, a lot of room. And that's the closet. And that looks like the door to the possible split three car garage, probably where you will put your 
different off-roading vehicles or motorcycles or any type of little sport utility vehicles. Uh, here, back into the kitchen. Nice refrigerator. Unless this is a butler, unless this is a butler, butler's pantry maybe. What this looks like some more storage underneath the stairs here. And it takes you back to the formal dining area. So now we're going to go ahead and swing around to the upstairs. Look at these stairs. Nice wide staircases. Very nice. Okay. As we move our way up, I like these little night lights here that guide your way up to the stairs. And as we get upstairs, whew, very nice. Way more space. More space. Okay. Looks like over here. There's like a game room type. Again, this is Taylor Morrison's model homes. Very nice builder. They have very nice tissue detail. It's like some sound around surround sound speakers. So it looks like they have here. Alright. As we head on down the hall, we have a looks to be a three-quarter of a bath. Looks like it has a stand-up shower, toilet, and Vanity. Very nice. Ooh, the bathroom is very nice. The very nice towel work. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. As we head back out, let's swing to the right. We have a bedroom here. Very nice size. Here's a view from the bedroom. I said they're still at the moment building homes in this neighborhood, Stonehaven, located here in Glendale. Very nice size bedroom. I would say this is a full size bed with two nightstands. So, good space. And you also have space here where your TV would go or with. Very nice. Said nice size closet. It has shelving and areas to hang things up. Uh, okay, as we come back out, swing around. As you see, this is the game room area. But if we swing over here, this looks to be a laundry room. Okay. Might not want to go that way first. Let's take a look at the other bedroom first. All right. As we head on over to these bedrooms looks like there's another bedroom here very nice like it has its own bathroom so no fighting over bathrooms it looks like it even has a pretty nice size closet but i guess bedroom like here we have your your vanity and looks like the shower and tub is located in here very nice 
tub. And actually, looks like a actually actually, and this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So they both bedrooms have their own vanity. They're separated, but they have their own. But they share a toilet and shower and tub. Um, okay. So here's the other bedroom, bedroom number three. Look at that, that is a nice view. You can see out there in the distance that State Farm Stadium. Close to all the, the action, you might say. And this bedroom has a nice, nice closet. And I did want to mention that these, these new construction build, I don't know, maybe I'm not from Arizona, but these doors are humongous. I mean, doors are very, very tall here, out here in Arizona. Okay, so we're gonna head back over here to the laundry room area. So if you have, like I said, your, your washer and dryer. Uh, so if you have some storage here for folding all your essentials for the laundry. Looks like there's a wire module there. Looks like there's actual access to the attic through the laundry room. Okay. I'm not gonna go that way. We're gonna go this way to the master suite. Okay. Looks like the master suite has Pretty good amount of space. Oh wow. Oh wow. Woo! So you do got a lot of space in here. You could this could be a whole little chill area over here. You don't even necessarily this could be a little relaxed area. So it looks like they turn into a little home office, which is also a good good idea. Okay, a little natural light here, but yeah, this is very nice. Let's take a look again. This is a view from your bed, in front of your desk area. Yeah, this is very nice. Especially like those windows above the bed. You still two windows bay windows up there. I don't think it was bay windows, but very nice. They didn't have enough space to put a love seat in front of the bed. That's pretty nice. And these windows are very, very nice. I like how deep the windows are actually. Look how these window seals, you can actually put, put things in these window seals here. Decorations or plants, whatever you're into, you know, send us some very nice, very nice windows. Okay, here we're going to head into the master bathroom. As we head in there, we, it looks like we have an entryway, a foyer into your bathroom, which is always nice. Okay, we've got some light switches here. There's access to the same laundry room we came out earlier, into your master bath. You have dual vanity sinks there. Ooh, very nice. Have a little shower, step up into your shower. And then you just step down into the shower and there's a shower bench there with the overhead waterfall shower and this glass went this glass 
shower, it's very nice. Makes you feel like you're in a, a spa. Definitely, very nice. In here, we're going to head on to the... Well, there's a water closet here. Pretty sure they come with doors. They're probably just to put doors down for the model. But they, it definitely comes with a door. And then we have some storage here. Looks like some storage for your towels and washcloths. And then you have this big walk-in closet, master closet. Enough space for your wife's clothes, maybe a couple outfits for yourself. <laughs> but yeah, the closet has a nice window in it as well. And that light lets in a lot of natural light. And there's the actual front view of the house there. There's the garage there. The driveway. This is very nice. Very nice. I would highly recommend checking out this builder if you're in the Phoenix area. They have very nice home builds and like I said their attention to detail is very very nice. This nice little window cut out right here to your foyer. And this is this is next level type stuff here. You even have a thermostat control here in your room as well. Control the temperature in the probably just the upstairs maybe. Made by Honeywell. Very nice. Nice indeed. Like I said, guys, I would definitely leave the information down below where you can find more information regarding the builder and all the fees and the so fees associated with. You know, getting your house built. Because, man, I don't know if I've, you know, seen houses like this already built in Arizona. That's very nice. But, um, these are very nice houses. Very nice houses. I said, nice attention to detail. Let me get a view of that. Very nice. And then, as we come back downstairs, the door to get to the outside is here. The handle's up there. So, as soon as we come outside, we're greeted with a patio area here. And then, you have your pool, which is an essential here in Arizona. It's very hot. Uh, like I said, it looks like they're pool manufacturer, pool builders, Shasta pools. If you see them, if you're looking and get, your, get, a, get a pool installed in your home, Shasta pools. So here's the outside landscaping. If you swing over here to the right, to the left, we have a bar and grill area. Nice. Very nice. It's a nice little setup here. You know what I'm saying? Get you an umbrella over here. I know it gets hot over here, but get your umbrella. Man, very nice. All right. This pool area is very nice. It also has a nice little waterfall feature there. Has a little step down area before you get into the pool. Nice, it's very nice.
definitely, man. Definitely check out Halo Morrison's home videos. Yes. He ain't looking like the if you're looking like the right builder, you might want to consider getting your house built in Arizona. So looks like they do everything right from my point of view as I'm looking around here. Let's take a look on the right side of the hall. Looks like there are ACs are there. Looks like you have two ACs. Looks like there's probably one for upstairs and one for downstairs. So you definitely I'm not gonna overwork your AC with just that single AC, so that's good. Definitely stay cool in the summertime when it reaches that 120 degree weather here in Arizona. But um, definitely leave a like, comment below if you like. Like I said, if you like this home, like I said, these homes are very, very nice. I definitely enjoy viewing these homes whenever I get a chance. Also gives you an idea of what you want in your home whenever you're deciding to get your home built. So uh say thanks again for tuning into my channel, The House Junkies, where we take adventures on to new pre-build homes, uh, new construction homes, um, pretty much any homes in the Phoenix area, we're going to go around the city, different cities and view different, different homes. But um, thanks again for tuning in to my channel. Make sure you, like I said, like, comment and subscribe for more content. Like I said, I'm going to be coming out with videos, hopefully every week, showing you, showing you different builders and different op options available for whenever you're looking to get your, your house built or your home built. All right. Thank you again. Peace.